Hey there, Conflict and Courage, February 14th, Countdown for Sodom. Genesis 18, verse 23 and 25 says, And Abraham drew near and said, Wilt thou also destroy the righteous with the wicked that be far from thee to do after this manner, to slay the righteous with the wicked? Shall not the judge of all the earth do right? Abraham had honored God, and the Lord honored him, taking him into counsels and revealing to him his purposes. Shall I hide from Abraham that thing which I do, saith the Lord? And the man of faith pleaded for the inhabitants of Sodom. Once he had saved them by his sword, now he endeavored to save them by prayer. With deep reverence and humility, he urged his plea. Himself a sinner, he pleaded in the sinner's behalf. Such a spirit all who approach God should possess. Yet Abraham manifested the confidence of a child, pleading with a loved father. He came close to the heavenly messenger and fervently urged his petition. Though Lot had become a dweller for Sodom, he did not partake in the iniquity of its inhabitants. Abraham thought that in that populous city, there must be other worshipers of the true God. Abraham asked not once merely, but many times, waxing bolder as his requests were granted. He continued until he gained the assurance that if even 10 righteous persons could be found in it, the city would be spared. Love for perishing souls inspired Abraham's prayer. While he loathed the sins of that corrupt city, he desired that the sinners might be saved. His deep interest for Sodom shows the anxiety that we should feel for the impenitent. We should cherish hatred of sin, but pity and love for the sinner. All around us are souls going down to ruin as hopeless, as terrible as that which befell Sodom. Every day the probation of some is closing. Every hour some are passing beyond the reach of mercy. And where are the voices of warning and entreaty to bid the sinner flee from this fearful doom? Where are the hands stretched out to draw him back from death? Where are those who, with humility and persevering faith, are pleading with God for him? I hope you have a great day today. Live courageously.